Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all right. So as you know by now in my videos, I give a commentary on what I'm thinking and how things are for me and what it's like in modern culture. I've come up with this phrase which I think perfectly fits what's going on in the moment and I've called it instant gratification culture, which is a bit of a mouthful, but if you let me explain, I just feel that at the moment people they want results quickly and they don't they don't want to wait basically so if you think of terms of your education you put in hard work so like my degree was three years and then you get a result but these days people want results like this so when you think of this in terms of a relationship gone I feel like gone are the days where a man would take you on several dinner dates and then want a relationship with you. What I'm finding now is that people want the instant gratification of sex. They want that dopamine hit straight away of just the sexual experience. They're not, they don't want to put in the effort of getting to know someone. It's almost as if they want to bypass all the logical steps just to get the end result. And you can argue that it's not just men that want this. A lot of females want this as well. They're maybe kind of jaded by dating and they don't want to go through the logical steps. They just want to, you know, that sort of skip to the good bit. It's That seems to be what people want at the moment. And then, of course, once they've got that initial hit, because they haven't invested in someone and ha because they haven't got to know them, they can just discard and they can get on to the next hit. People seem to be going from partner to partner because they're not investing in people emotionally. What you're finding also with women, and I've kind of been maybe guilty of this in the past, is that you want, you want to skip to the relationship part. You want that relationship straight away when you maybe haven't necessarily qualified someone enough. So I'm thinking of maybe past experiences where, possibly to my own detriment, I've wanted the relationship so much, I've almost bypassed the person and I haven't looked at the person and thought, would they actually be good in a relationship? It's a lot of women, myself included, are guilty of just skipping to the I want a relationship part. And... It's that instant gratification of not wanting to get to know someone to put in the effort. It's almost as if I just want that end goal straight away. So this is kind of where the, the sexes differ because obviously I don't want to like blanket approach people because people are different. But what I'm finding is the men, the men just want the kind of the sex, seeing how things go. Whereas the women, they maybe want to skip to the relationship too fast. It's really difficult because you don't want to be stuck in that limbo situation of dating someone and having sex with someone if it's not going to cement into a relationship. I think this is where a lot of men have the power because they can just detach from this and they can have sex and see how things go. Whereas for women, it doesn't work like this. So this is why modern dating is favouring men at the moment because men are less likely to get attached and they can have sex with a woman and then they can just say things like, oh, you're rushing things, you're rushing things. It, you know, I don't know you well enough yet. In terms of women, I think to not feel this these feelings so much, I think the best thing for women is to just not get intimate straight away someone because once you become intimate then your guards let down and it does cloud your judgment it's to do it's to do with bonding hormones it's something that women can't necessarily help once you sleep with someone you you get that that feeling that bonding hormone so when you're looking at it in terms of biology women are designed to get attached to men after they sleep with them because it's a way of nature kind of making women choose the best father so we we can't work against our biology we've got to learn to go with it so it's it's very difficult there are some women out there that completely dissociate um 
dissociate attachment whilst they're having sex, but the vast majority of women can't. So this is where it gets murky because a lot of women feel that once they've had sex with a man, they owe them something in a way. So a lot of women, they kind of see having sex as the bond, the kind of, oh, this means it's heading towards a relationship. But you need to be aware, if you're a young girl watching this, that men's brains don't work in the same way. So for me in the past, if I've had sex with someone, then I've kind of wanted it to lead into a relationship. That's kind of how female brains work. But males' brains don't work in the same way. Men can completely dissociate the, the kind of emotion from sex. So when a man does have sex, it doesn't necessarily mean he wants a relationship with you. It, he could be sleeping with you for a number of reasons. A, he, he could just be lonely. B, he could really like you. He could want a relationship with you. You're, you're never going to know. So the best thing to do is to step back a bit and wait until wait until you're just really comfortable and ready to have sex with someone. So what you need to think is in terms of a guy your physical appearance and your looks will will get him attracted to you and get your foot in the door but it's ultimately the emotional connection that a guy will feel towards you that will make him want to be in a relationship with you. But I think in general, sex is just, it's expected um, too too quickly by guys from from women. It's almost as if now we've opened up the, we've opened up the gates for equality, which is a good thing. In a way, we are, we are we've created our own downfall because now men will expect sex straight away and you're kind of left in this situation where it's kind of impacted on me negatively because if I'm dating someone and then they just basically I don't know how many times I've dated someone and then they just come up with I just want sex and it's like now that men can get sex without a relationship some men feel there isn't a there isn't a need for a relationship because they don't want all the stress and the drama and sometimes with guys is they if they've had one bad girlfriend that has really messed them up it, it kind of clouds their judgment and they see all women like this so sometimes they don't want to get into another relationship so instead of that that's why they just want the, oh they just want sex it's with no matter how no matter how many sites you see on YouTube or videos saying that men don't need women, well they obviously do because the amount of people that have casual sex with women it's because they need that intimacy with women. If they didn't want that intimacy, they would just watch porn all the time. So there obviously is a need for both sexes to want to be with each other. But now we've let the genie out of the bottle, what are we going to do? I mean, we have we have Tinder where people are disposable and it's like if people don't like someone, they can just unmatch them, they can just go on to the next person. We're just, in general, we're just not creating sustainable connections with people. There's this rush, this rush towards the physical aspect because obviously... We live in a sexualized culture where you can't watch a film these days without someone having sex. You can't watch a TV program without it being on all the time. It's constantly, it's constantly there, and it's in our culture. And people just, they just want the, they want the dopamine hit straight away. And because obviously now we have contraception in our culture, which is completely a good thing. But it's also left this lack of consequences having sex and it's part of this lack of consequence which has led males and females to this casual culture obviously we have the aspect of stis and stuff like that but ultimately for your own sanity if if you are a female and you're watching this and you don't want to be part of the instant gratification culture then you have to you have to make a decision you either you either hold back and don't have sex and then you're missing out on sexual experience to get the guy 
or you go around having the casual sex and then you get hurt so in this situation women can't win either way because so you either like you either hold back and then you're not sexual with people just so you don't get hurt or you kind of play the limbo game of having sex with someone seeing how it goes and then if it doesn't work out then you're heartbroken so women can't win at the moment and have we created our own downfall it's difficult to say to be honest it depends what you believe in it's difficult because I'm watching Mad Men at the moment and when you see what's happened in the offices in the 60s and what went on and how women were treated, it's absolutely disgusting and obviously we don't want to go back to that but we've also opened up this can of worms now whereas because we're free and liberated men can get sex outside a relationship so there isn't a pull for a guy to be in a relationship because he can get what he wants without all the the emotional ties and the drama and half the point of me just sharing these videos just showing my experiences and saying that you're not alone basically and this is the way society is now and you just have to make the decision of doing what's right for you thanks for watching everyone as ever please like and subscribe if you like this video and videos every Monday, but thanks for watching everyone.